Hello everyone, Sheriff here. So today we're going to create a tutorial on creating this airplane controller. In the last video we did mouse input as analog and we're going to use that today for the airplane controller. So leave a like and subscribe and let's get started. Alright guys, so here we have a kinematic body plane. So we're going to just be using a kinematic body. And we have the mesh and then some collision shapes for wheels and that's the body not the wings and then here is the mouse input analog that we have as a style of it so we're gonna just connect the signal to the script add it connected now let's create a script on the plane we we'll call it plane controller All right so we're gonna need a few stuff first we need the max speed and the min speed and we need acceleration and deceleration as well as its current speed. I export this so we could just set it to start at a current speed. We need all the rotations, so pitch, roll, yaw. And I'm gonna be using degrees per second, but the rotations will be in radians, but we'll get to that. And references to my propeller and mesh itself. We're gonna rotate that a little bit. You'll see when I get to it. And we need turn input. So let's go down the chat. Uh, so because I like to use degrees, um, I like to do this to convert it to radians. Most times you could tell what 45 degrees look like. So I'd rather use degrees than radians. Yeah, so I'll just, I'm just converting it. So pitch speed, it degrees to radians. The same pitch speed. So you're taking it and changing it. And same for the rest. Now we're going to use physics process. Here we want to get the input from the keyboard. So we're gonna use input to get vector. <clears throat> so left, right, up, down, or down, up. Then we need axis input. Remember, you create these in the project settings. Didn't go over that, but pretty sure you guys know how to do all that. There. Then we check if input dot y is greater than zero and current speed that's a max speed so this is to increase the speed then we also want to check to decrease the speed make sure it's not greater than here then we want to set the velocity to be its basis the z basis represents the rotation and scale on each axis and we currently want it to go forward and z and good old z is a negative so we want to invert it that goes forward like away from the screen now oh. And let's apply that move then we want to get the turn direction and this will be the input from the y this turn input is it turn input this is what we're going to connect the input from the controller with and turn input at x and then we want roll so this roll that will be the negative so it goes in the right direction so now i want to create a function called apply rotation and that takes the direction and then delta and we reset this turn input here and then we have a spin propeller function that we're gonna use on this uh, propeller mesh. Let's create those. So, funk, by rotation, delta, let's pass that, and then funk. <clears throat> All right, let's do the spin propeller first. All right, so it's pretty simple. Right now I'm taking the current speed, dividing that by the max speed, and using that as a multiplier for the spin then we have i just hard coded this value here times delta times this percentage so the faster the plane is going the faster the propeller spin and then tau rotation z if it's greater than tau we reset it to z tau is just two times uh that's a whole circle basically greater than 360 in radians all right so this is the fun part so now we want to use rotate this is a fun built-in function and we want to use the basis z of the plane itself the player itself because this give us its local axis on each basis direction anyways you grab the vector z that's the roll and then the roll speed times delta and we do the same for x and y this will be for pitch on basis X, then on the basis Y is for yaw. Now we want to lean the mesh, 
So we check the vector y, that would be the yaw. If it's yaw and if it's the negative, we want to rotate the mesh. We're just using lerp z, so we rotate it to 45 degrees, the negative. And I use the vector y to, as a way to help, I guess. I don't need to do this, but it allows you to do like don't all the way. So it looks dynamic. And we do the same if it's greater than in the opposite direction. And if not, we lerp back to z. And this is local to the plane mesh. So it ignores the player's rotation. And that should be it. Now all we need to do is connect the signal from this analog input. We had it connected already, but let's connect it here. Redo it again. And connect it to the plane. Boom. And now we need to get the turn input. What do we call it? Yep, turn input. The turn input is equals to the analog input. That should be it. Clear up this a bit. I pass. Good. Save. Now we could check on the plane now. Go here. Call is set. I'm using 45 degrees. You could change them wherever you want. I'm gonna have this on GitHub in the description, so you guys could just download it and try it out. So let's test it up. From here, plane scene. Plane's already here. Are. And I have a side of clouds. I have a fly cam that tracks the plane. Look at it, it's pretty simple. It's just lerp the position and then lerp angle to the same angle of the time. Anyways, let's get bang. Yep. Just like that. And if I rotate here, never lean this way or lean this way, you can see that I'm lerping the mesh that rotates. But that's the reason why I have it like that. So yeah, at least it looks like, like a plane, I mean. And then I could also spin around. Get up. Yeah. All right, that should be it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. You guys, figure out what you want to do with that whenever it hits. Or, all right, guys, take care.